there. New journal to show you. This is a six and a quarter inch by nine and a quarter. And it's a recycled book cover. Um, and again, I've used Zoe Tofield's method of painting the cloth and using that painted uh, calico. And because I love the feel of it, I love the texture, I love the simplicity and the plainness of it. And again, I've used one of the little um, laser cut embellishments, little wood embellishments underneath to give it some dimension. I've given that a little bit of colour with a bit of um, acrylic dabber pearl on the flowers and a little bit of green to touch up the leaves. I'm not quite sure how to colour it and around the flowers itself just to give it a bit more definition I used one of my Derwent Colour Soft pencils and just used it to give a little bit of a shadow and definition. Perfectly plain on the back and on the spine I've used one of another YouTube friend. This one is Bunny Bo Manuela who has just done a tutorial on these lovely little faux enamel plaques and she's even very kindly um, made a PDF of the actual plaques with various names. I altered the name on mine because I wanted this to be a garden focus um, journal so that's what I've put on the, the little thing but I'll put the link to Manuela and uh, Zoe's um, websites below or the YouTube channel so you can see. It's got two signatures. It's got my usual elastic band and little um, little knob closure and it's pretty simple. I've given it a garden theme. I've used quite a bit of, it's very eclectic, it's got bits and bobs from all over. It's got some of my own um, collaging, digital collaging. It's got bits of recycled paper. It's got book pages, you name it, it's all in here. And it really doesn't have a theme um, apart from being sort of a garden focus. So, pocket in the front, pocket in the back. I haven't put the tags in there yet. I've just got a couple of little tags to pop in that little pocket. Um, in the front I've just got the about this journal. I've got one of Manuela's dear little cellophane envelopes that she sent me and I've turned that into a pocket for um, information about how to use the journal because I've found that people often don't have a clue so I've been including that kind of information. This is an envelope that's got a whole heap of tags and journaling cards and all bits and bobs that will go in there and a few extra paper clips and things I'll put in before I get, get it sent off. As I say, only two signatures and they're pretty much the same. I've used, I did intend to use this and this was one page and I did intend to put it on the, use it as the inside front and inside back covers, but it was a little small. It was printed on A4 and by the time I trimmed it out, it was too small. So I've just put half on the first signature and half on the second. I've included a, quite a few paper clips with dangles. Now these drive me quite crazy really. I hate these things when I'm in my own journals. I like things very very plain but I know some people like them and I had you know, this is a little trowel and bits and pieces so I have included them. They can easily be pulled off. Some more of my own little digital collage. Some tags. Some of these are from Ephemeris Vintage Garden, um, predominantly, with, and this was Ephemeris Vintage Garden, most of them are simply the Graphics Fairy, that's where I get 90% of my digital images for. Some coffee papers, some plain coloured papers, a bit of um, pretty washi tape, I've got some pretty floral washi tape, so I've used some of that. Little tuck spot there. Um, 
<coughs> little cloud I found in my ephemeral box. There's a few images. These ones are on brown paper page. Um, these are from an old folio diary, Folio Society diary. It has the most amazing images. So I've been saving them for some unknown reason. I thought, no, I'm going to use some of them up this time. There's a tag and a little another little booklet I've made with some beading on the spine tucked into that pocket. Little disc there with a snail that I made. Um, more coffee dyed. This is just a an envelope. It's got a couple of journaling cards and some also when I do my inches, I usually do a large version and then when I'm watercolouring or, or colour pencils. Um, and then I size them down once I've created them rather than try and draw them tiny. And so I have those little bits hanging about and I thought, garden theme journal in there. Oops, what am I doing? Not concentrating. There we go. Uh, this is a John Seymour gardening book. There's a couple of pages in each, or a page in each signature. More journaling cards. It's a Vimera Vintage Garden. This is a corner pocket that Chris and I have made. It goes over both corners. <coughs> Little butterf oh, dragonfly on that one. You can see this okay. Lots of nice crinkly paper. Room for photographs. Another little pocket, this one's got a, um, a cactus, it's one of our digitals, this one's one of my cards, my digital collaging, actually it's not digital collaging, it's actual collaging, and then I've turned it into an image, um, they're good for f putting photos in, and that's another one of my digital garden pieces. The centre is just a couple of pages out of the um, Country Diary. These are just plain little tags and things I've made. The back of that John Seymour page. There's the back of that little envelope and there's more of these journaling cards. back of this one has got a large postcard from Japan. It's got another one of my collage cards for photos and a little ladybird collage there. Another one of the folio images and pocket with an Australian flannel fast stamp, journaling card and one of my large tags that I made for the garden set. <coughs> Got a pocket there with an envelope inside. That's the last. Second signature is very much the same. I won't go through absolutely everything. It's just repeat more little corner sections, a few little words, um, more folio. Tags, it's got some shapes here and some stamping. This little um, cellophane pocket has got some seed things. I did some stamping, some seed packets and some things in there. More washi tape. I realise I, I really enjoy doing stamping now. I've been doing a lot more stamping than I've done for ages, and I realise it's because I'm much more confident now I have the Tim Holtz stamping platform. I know I can get things straight and looking better. It's not so hit and miss as it used to be for me. More washi tape. Little pocket there with a, a stamped butterfly on some paper. That's a bit of, um, what is it, serviette on, on some card. That's a good little journaling card or note card. Centre page again from that country diary. John Seymour, a bit of washi, 
more seed pockets in there. There's I think three in there, journaling cards in them. <coughs> a little snail on the back. Some tags. In that little pocket. Another one of those lovely Japanese postcards. And another one of the cards that the collage image cards. Got a folio image. And again here there's my tags, another one of my watercolour inchy pieces and a little tiny envelope with some journaling cards. That's about beekeeping, I don't know if you can see that or not. And they're held in with little acorn. Just push that on. And that's the last panel. There's another um, a larger tag there and this one's if I undid it it opens up with four little tags joined together for journaling spots and the final envelope. So that's it. That's my little gardening journal. It needn't be used for a gardening journal but I like to have a gardening journal, record your, your cuttings and plants and things that people give you, uh, cuttings you acquire on your walks through a suburb, bits hang over the pavement, that sort of thing. So this is about to go to the Three Peaks Gallery and hopefully it'll find a, a new owner there. So that's it. Thanks to Manuela and Zoe for their, their tutorials to contribute to the making and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.